What's going on, everyone? So uh, I saw a little news update here uh, for Grand Tactician. They put out patch 1.04, uh, wagon load of AI. So this is going to be interesting. Um, and some of you guys might be wondering, um, I haven't been doing a lot of streaming of strategy games lately, and that's because I've been playing this game. Uh, <laughs> plus, I also have my uh, our third one um, that... Uh, we had around, I think, a couple days after Christmas, so we've been, you know, I've been having to put in extra time with the uh, with the little ones, uh, but every little ounce of <laughs> time I had, I put into this game, which is an incredible game, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get back into uh, strategy gaming, uh, but if you guys want to see me uh, stream this, let me know, um, it'd be, uh, I could definitely do that, I just don't know if you guys are interested in... Um, I don't let me say this is RPG. I guess it's RPG. I don't know. But it's a survival kind of game. All right, let's take a look at this. Yeah. So, wagon load of updates. So, the new Cran Tactician update focuses heavily on improving the game's AI opponent, both in campaign and battle layers. The campaign AI now recruits more intelligently, transfers units to threaten theaters actively. Ooh. It is more active in construction and management of its fleets, and will also consider naval invasions against poorly protected shorelines. Ooh, I like that. Capital city, defense behavior, defense operations, weapons production, distribution among the troops, replacing commanders with better ones, awesome, and organizing early armies into grand armies with core organization are also among the upgrades. Ooh, I like that. Very, very good, especially in the early game. Um, because in the early game, it's easy to kind of roll over the AI. Uh, the battle AI handles its troops better. In attack, it will bombard enemy positions with its artillery while waiting for more troops to arrive before moving into close combat. Now, the battle AI bites, like, at this point, even before this patch, was challenging. So I'm very anxious to find out a little bit <laughs> more about this battle AI and uh, see its effectiveness on the battlefield. Uh, it is more active in offensive battles to counter players flanking and circlement movements with timely withdrawals. Okay. While also considering keeping a reserve to counter players maneuvers. Ooh, wow. Okay. Awesome. All in all, there will be less confusion in AI's ranks during battles. Along comes a long list of bug fixes, balancing UI and other improvements, including orderly withdrawal from the campaign battles if the losing army is not broken, while continuing to improve the game and with the usual bug fixes and other minor improvements, the next patch 1.05 will ha have its focus in campaign economy and players controlling controls in influencing it okay awesome nice so you can go in here and check out all the improvements here which is a lot here it's AIC's invasions that's gonna come in really handy um, definitely a big challenge transfers units Rebalance AI ship recruiting. Yeah, there's a lot of fixes. A lot of fixes. Change AI army composition factors. Reduce spamming of AI supply points. Supply D points now store lower numbers of less relevant goods. AI tries to construct more forts around the capital. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Preset filters when replacing commanders are now overridden the manual settings. Okay. AI yeah, tries to form up in larger force before <laughs> starting attacks. Oh, crap. Prove that Rection Fine when units with defensive stands fall back. Retreating out of the field without having the lost barrier trigger now results in a withdrawal on campaign mat instead of retreat. Oh, okay. This is going to be good. Okay. Very good. That's going to come in handy. Uh, commanders now better try to move away from enemy units. AI now tries to reposition to. Oh. AI now tries to reposition to back if it discovers entrenchment. Oh, okay, interesting. Allows overriding. Wow, the battle AI is just. Wow. Allowing cover for skirmishing formations. Okay. Reworked setting of game options as some settings are not remembered. Improved. Input uh, for entering, modifying names, and support of copy and paste. Okay, excellent. Yeah, like, you know, I mean, I'm... <laughs> this, you know... <sighs> I don't know what to say. I mean, Grand Tactician keeps making this game just better and better. And um, 
you know, I like to say I'm I'm shocked, but I'm not. You know, I feel like with every patch, like 1.03, 1.02, it's just like a mountain of improvements and just just making this game just leaps and yards better with every patch. Um, you know, honestly, I feel like the game is at like you know, I I asked them during an interview with the developer dialogue. Um, I did an interview with them. It's uncut right now. It's on developerdialogue.com. Um, Patreons have access to it first. Uh, I'm going to release it in February uh, publicly. Uh, but during the interview, they were mentioning uh, the reason why they're going with 1.04 uh, instead of like, I feel the game's already at like 1.4, you know, like going to 2.0 soon because of all the updates and new enhancements and new features and then such uh but yeah uh, i love seeing all these new uh enhancements i love that they're you know still supporting um and they're going to support this game uh quite a bit long uh longer uh during the interview they were mentioning that um 2022 expect just more and more and more updates coming so definitely get your money's worth <laughs> uh but uh, we also talk about future games so if you guys can't wait till february go to developerdialogue.com i posted it there um also i got something really good um coming to developer dialogue uh if you go to the patreon page uh if you are the uh, i think it's the five dollar package uh if you go for that package um i got something really good coming um that's never been done before with developers I'm working on it right now, but it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm gonna announce it probably, hopefully like in a week or two, uh, but it's gonna be something never done before with indie developers, uh, strategy game developers. So keep an eye out for that. All right guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Catch you next week, see you then.